Some of the incredible underwater discoveries made in our oceans will blow your mind. Numerous priceless items are certain to be lost because water covers 71% of the surface of the Earth. This covers everything from large cities to sinking ships. These extinct artifacts from the past can be extremely valuable and reveal a lot about how ancient people lived. Fortunately, recent technological developments have helped underwater archaeologists find objects more quickly and easily. Although it is impossible to predict what they'll discover in the future, we can nevertheless examine some of what they've already discovered. While much of it has been explored in the past several decades, scientists are still discovering new places and things. Here are some incredible underwater discoveries that left us in awe, some of which will make us want to stay on dry land. The HMS Audacious the HMS Audacious was a dreadnought battleship constructed for the Royal Navy in the early 20th century. It was finished in 1913 and had a very short career. The English ship was sunk by a German naval mine while navigating near the coast of Ireland during World War I. It only had been operational for about a year. The Audacious was then commissioned on October 15, 1913 and was destroyed on October 27, 1914 when it struck the underwater mine and sank. The HMS Audacious has received the most devotion ever. It was the History Channel that eventually filmed the HMS Audacious wreckage for a TV program in 2008 because the Admiralty refused to allow word of its destructive action to get out because they didn't want the Germans to know what had happened. They collaborated with marine anthropologist Ennis McCartney to photograph the sunken wreckage, which is still located 17 miles from Torrey Island in the North Atlantic Ocean, at the depth of roughly 223 feet, and has a significant portion of the ship blasted apart where it collided with the mine and exploded. A Morbid Shipwreck Archaeologists have discovered England's oldest intact shipwreck, a vessel from the 13th century in the English Channel off the coast of Dorset. On board the historic ship, they uncovered a collection of marble stones, some disturbing cargo, including some medieval crosses. A local charter boat skipper made the find after requesting permission to dive into the location, and then Bournemouth University scientists arrived to do some underwater archaeological excavations. Although it is not the oldest shipwreck ever discovered, it is the oldest shipwreck whose hull is still mostly intact, meaning the ship's body is essentially uninjured. We don't know the name of the ship, only that it was built during the time of King Henry III and that the trees used in its construction were felled between 1242 and 1265 AD, which is nearly unheard of for a boat that sank a hundred years ago. It was probably a transport vessel used to convey huge shipments, most likely limestone rock, which was much sought after by European architects and marble. Even though the ship in this instance was transporting a pair of antique gravestones, stones would be typically quarried in Dorset before being brought to Europe. The gravestones in the morbid cargo were discovered by underwater archaeologists to be perfectly preserved. They appear exactly as they did when they were made in the 13th century. However, because the gravestones lack any names chiseled on them, we are unable to determine whose graves they were intended for. Ming the Clam Ming the Clam, an ocean mollusk discovered in 2006 off the coast of Iceland, was captured by scientists and killed after spending 507 years in the water. Researchers with the Bangor University collected about 200 ocean mollusks from the Icelandic seabed and then took them back to their laboratory for testing as part of a larger project focusing on climate change. These seemingly ancient creatures were collected as part of this project. Nobody at the time considered it to be a huge deal. Researchers didn't realize they had killed the world's oldest animal until the clams arrived at the university and they began researching them. Scientists discovered that the mollusks have an incredibly long lifetime, with the majority of them living to be over a century old. In addition, clams add a new ring to their shell every year they are alive, exactly like trees do. Scientists were astounded by Ming's 410 calls, which indicated that it was over four centuries old when it was discovered. Unsure of the accuracy of their counting method, they placed Ming under a microscope, which revealed that Ming was approximately 507 years old and was born in 1499. Although it was terrible that the planet's oldest animal perished, scientists are making enormous strides in our understanding of biological aging. Some have even speculated that, in the future, research on Ming's remains may reveal a method of attaining eternal life. Ship in the River When European travel guilds ruled the trade routes in the Baltic Sea and North Sea between the 13th and 17th centuries, trade in Northern Europe was highly regulated. There were organized guilds that oversaw the transportation and sale of pretty much all goods in and out of the region. Maritime archaeologists discovered the broken remains of a cargo ship in a German river. The ship is 400 years old and dates back to the Hessianic period. Scientists believe that this ship may have been sucked into the seafloor and covered in mud immediately after it sank, preserving it like a mummified boat at the bottom of the River Trav near the city of Lübeck. The ship may have been a gallant or a single-mast cargo ship. 
Wood typically rots until it blends with the sea slime. Over 150 intact barrels have already been discovered, according to archaeologists from Kiel University in Germany, indicating that the ship was carrying a significant amount of quick lime when it sank. Quick lime was an antiquated ingredient required in the mortar used to construct magnificent works of stone. It probably originated in Scandinavia, either in Sweden or northern Denmark, then traveled to Germany, where the quick lime was used to build anything from magnificent cathedrals to medieval tombs. A Titanic Discovery on April 15, 1912, the SS Misaba attempted to alert the Titanic of potentially hazardous icebergs in the Atlantic Ocean. The Titanic was warned by the SS Misaba that there were icebergs on their course and that they should exercise extreme caution, but sadly the message never reached the bridge and later that night the unstoppable ship sank after colliding with an iceberg. The ship that warned of the Titanic continued to exist unharmed for the following six years, but during World War I, the message was destroyed by a German submarine which was hit by a torpedo and ultimately killed 20 people. Last but not least, for a very long time, nobody was aware of the location of the Mastaba's final resting place. However, research from Bournemouth University in the UK have now found the lost ship sitting at the bottom of the Irish Sea. It was found split almost entirely in half. Scientists used multi-beam sonar to scan the seafloor, identifying over 273 shipwrecks. They are illuminated submarines, trawlers, and various other types of broken vessels. A Sunken Civilization A recent find off the coast of Prince of Wales Island in Alaska has revealed a hidden history of the inhabitants who once called that place home. The discovery of an ancient weir ship underwater in Chacken Bay by a group of Canadian archaeologists who did so after the shadow of the long-lost object appeared on sonar images taken more than 10 years ago supports the theory that the first Northern American settlers traveled along the shoreline and subsisted on fish, according to scientists. Weirs were a type of barrier used by Native Americans to trap fish. These were some of the first fish traps ever made and people all over the world still use them today. This particular one was built towards the end of the Ice Age and has been submerged beneath the sea for thousands of years. Scientists think that the prehistoric people might have easily survived on Alaska's coastline by using straightforward fishing equipment like the one discovered underwater. Forget about agriculture, the native Alaskans probably built their civilization just by gathering enough fish to feed hundreds of people using open fishing nets. Weir is evidence of a sophisticated civilization being in Alaska before the Mesopotamian civilizations did. Vanilla Vader Recent discoveries by scientists in the Gulf of Mexico include a massive wood louse that uncannily resembles Darth Vader and a highly unsettling species that dwells in the depth of the ocean. The revolting yellow creature, which is just over 10 inches long and two and a half times than the wood lice you typically find in your backyard, is one of several new crustaceans discovered in the Benvik Zone, one of the deepest parts of the ocean. It belongs to the genus Bathinimus and it has some unsettling similarities to Darth Vader's helmet from the Star Wars series. This new member of the family has been discovered in the Benthic Zone. It can only be inferred from a solitary specimen that it was discovered in 2017 off the coast of Mexico. According to Huang Ming Chi of the National University of Tayan in Taiwan, the crab is proof of the Gulf of Mexico's significant ecological variety. A distant relative of the common wood is the isopod laos, is a scavenger that spends most of its time searching among trash and dirt for food. It lives between two and 600 feet below sea level. Do you like the name? If so, please let us know in the comments. The Avro Arrows The Avro CF-105 Arrow, also known as the Arrow, was a highly developed aircraft built by the Canadian air industry during the Cold War of the 1950s. It was a jet interceptor specifically designed to combat Soviet bombers, but when the aircraft's budget grew to be an absurd 1 billion Canadian dollars, the project was shelved. Canada never became a major producer of military-grade aircraft, with the Avro Arrow being one of their last great endeavors, and in 20 years, it was scrapped. People in Canada were worried about a potential Russian attack across the Canadian Arctic and that Soviet troops might try to occupy Canada's frozen north. It was at this time that the Avro Arrow ended up at the bottom of Lake Ontario. It is thought the aircraft was launched from the Royal Canadian Air Force Base in Prince Edward County, but by some grave error, it ended up in the lake after takeoff. As a result, many manufacturers started a desperate attempt to make more war machines, but due to the cost, not much ever wound up being done. However, the first Avro era was unveiled in 1957 and broke four speed records. Since then, Canada has discovered four more Avro Aerojet interceptors that have been abandoned. If you learned of any discoveries from this video or know more, please let us know in the comments sections along with your thoughts and ideas.